हाय फ्रेंड्स आम कृष्णा वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज माय चैनल नाउ वे आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फिजिकल साइंस इन दिस क्लास दिस इज आवर एपी स्टेट सिलेबस सो फर्स्ट लेट्स एक्सप्लेन द सिलेबस लेट्स एक्सप्लेन द सिलेबस इन दिस क्लास व्हाट्स द सिलेबस हियर so the syllabus syllabus is first one is heat first one is heat so the heat chapter second one chemical reactions and equations and third one third one reflection of light reflection of light by different surfaces fourth acids bases and salts and fifth refraction of light refraction of light at plane surfaces refraction of light at plane surfaces and sixth refraction of light at curved surface uh, human eye and colorful world structure of atom classifications of elements and the periodic table um, chemical 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 bonding electric current uh, electromagnetism principles of metallurgy carbon and its compounds this these are the 14 chapters in our textbook first chapter so the first chapter is heat so let's explain the first chapter so what's the first chapter here so the first chapter is so heat so this is the first chapter here the heat we are going to explain so heat concept what's the heat uh, heat is a form of energy this is very well known definition in our lower lower classes in 6th 7th 8th classes heat is a form of energy and we can explain at that uh, classes so this heat is a form of energy which can flows from hotter body to colder body but Uh, before before going to explain that chapter now what's the mind mapping here so the heat is heat in this heat lesson so heat is there is a phase change you know matter exists in three 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 phases matter exists in three phases so the what are the three phases you know solid and uh, liquid and gases and uh, gases solid liquid gases so the there is a phase change between solid to liquid liquid to gases this by uh, releasing heat energy by absorbing heat energy by absorbing heat energy there is a uh, some three three phenomena that are uh, that are melting boiling evaporation what's the melting melting is is a phase change solid to liquid what's the boiling boiling is a phase change liquid to vapor at constant temperature and uh, evaporation is a phase change liquid to vapor at te any temperature there is a difference between boiling and uh, evaporation evaporation is the phase change liquid to vapor at any temperature whatever the temperature no question but the boiling is uh, at constant temperature this is the heat observing uh, by uh, by observing heat energy when the phase change take uh, phase change takes place between solid liquid gases and you know heat release when re heat releasing uh, uh, among the um, su substances like solid liquid gases there is a there is a there is occurring um, phase change that is condensation and freezing condensation is vapor to liquid and freezing is liquid to solid these these concepts in this lesson we are going to explain this concept we are going to explain in this lesson so the next concept here so the first chapter so let's ask let me let me say some questions to you what are the questions what questions sir why does transfer of heat energy takes place between objects does transfer heat and heat takes place in all situations what are the conditions for transfer of heat energy how can you answer these questions yeah the, to answer these questions we have to learn the concept is thermal equilibrium 
if you learn thermal equilibrium if you understand thermal equilibrium we can um, answer these questions very easily what's the thermal equilibrium first let's say the definition when two bodies are placed in the thermal um, contact heat energy will be transferred from the hotter to a colder body this transfer of heat energy continuously till both bodies attain the same degree of hotness or coldness at this stage we say that the bodies have achieved thermal equilibrium you know that, that this thermal equilibrium means this is the stage at which both bodies attain the same heat energy or same temperature you know this is a state let's explain with example mechanism of thermal equilibrium let's take one hot body and lead and cold body then both bodies we have to place with thermal contact this is a thermal contact thermal contact means they should be contact each other then the hotter body gradually losing its energy and this colder body gradually uh, gaining its energy and both bodies they attain on a single stage at which no temperature is transferred such stage is nothing but thermal equilibrium you know faster rate of energy takes place at hot body slower rate of energy takes place at a cold body and you know another one thermal equilibrium how to determine the thermal equilibrium temperature so to understand this concept let's take one one hot body and one cold body and two thermometers two thermometers so the hot and cold body should be placed in uh, with the thermal contact should be placed with the thermal contact what happening if they are placed with thermal contact so the hotter body shows the 80 degree temperature and um, this colder body shows the 40 degree temperature whenever they contact each other after some time they should attain um, uh, one stage that stage is nothing but uh, thermal equilibrium at this stage both uh, bodies shows the temperature is 60 60 you know this is 60 here the hotter body gradually decreases its temperature to 60 this colder body gradually increases that its temperature to 40 to 60 this is an example this can we can understand thermal equilibrium very easily this is the definition thermal equilibrium next one is so let's take another example friends one is let's take one zero degree centigrade body and 100 degree centigrade body both bodies are different temperatures we have to put the both bodies together i mean with thermal contact what happening this zero degree temperature body gradually gaining energy and the 100 degree temperature gradually decreasing the energy both bodies after some time they attain the stage uh, the stage that state is nothing but thermal equilibrium at which no gaining no losing energy this this is the best example to understand the thermal equilibrium friends we can from this thermal equilibrium we can understand the concept of heat and temperature very easily how can you understand you know a first question um, um what's the first question um, before going to question let's explain the example you know summer season and winter season in winter season all bodies if you try to touch it all bodies uh, very cold why it is very cold to touch it in hotter season in summer season if you try to touch anybody wow it is very hot so this expressions in our daily day to day life very very common so that's why i am asking i am explaining so the furniture in our room is in thermal equilibrium with air in the room because this uh, their contact thermal contact with air in summer season that's all bodies at a hotter te hotter temperature in the cold in the winter season uh, if anybody you try to touch it it is very cold because of the uh, surroundings and the air temperature is decreases so the surrounding this furniture also decreases that's why there is a thermal equilibrium maintained between the bodies these are these two are very best examples now we can understand the heat heat is a form of energy that flows from hotter body to colder body that's why this is very very important from the this concept we can define it and we introduce another quantity that is temperature yeah this is the temperature this temperature concept is we can introduce in this lesson hotter body called how much hotter how much colder how can you express we can express this how much hotter how much colder with some physical quantity that is temperature the temperature is degree of hotness or coldness of a body even degree of coldness is a temperature 
degree of hotness is a temperature that's why if we introduce a new concept that is that is the temperature friends in this lesson we explain the thermal equilibrium and we can answer these questions very easily now why does transfer of heat energy takes place between the um, hotter body between hotter and colder body there is a, a temperature difference that's why there is a takes place energy and does transfer heat takes place in all situations yes what are the conditions for transfer of heat thermal contact if they are in thermal contact they can they can um, transfer the energy while they are there substances air or uh, gas or solid or liquid whatever the state phase no problem so friends this is the lesson in our class and mind mapping so um, this first concept is over next class we will explain about the more more about to uh, temperature and its units thank you thank you for watching see you again in next class Thank you.